Hey there folks, Sam T at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Been getting a lot of questions lately about fancy gun handling and gun tricks in the Old West. Did they do it? Let's investigate. Images of the iconic Western gunfighter bring to mind a person who is so adept at using his firearm that they can perform tricks with it in the most heated situations. Um, not really what I mean. Talking to any policeman or soldier on this matter would convince you that during an exchange of gunfire, the idea is to stop your opponent quickly. Therefore, flipping the gun in the air and catching it would not be a good use of the split second it takes the other guy to shuck his iron and get to fight. So, did gun toters in the Old West really handle their firearms that way? Maybe. I've been doing this reenactment stuff for quite a long time, been on movie sets with stuntmen and working cowboys. The allure of twirling your revolver is hard to resist. Kind of the Old West fidget spinner, if you will, but, uh, deadlier. A lot deadlier. Now, in the era of westward expansion, gun safety was definitely practiced. And I'm sure fancy handling was, too. If you try to tell me Billy the Kid never spun his gun into his holster while sitting around the campfire, I'd say you're crazy. Infamous gunslinger John Wesley Harden mentioned in his autobiography that when he was in Abilene, he was told to hand over his firearms by Marshal Wild Bill Hickok. As a safety measure, Hardin handed them butt first to Hickok. When the marshal reached for them, Hardin flipped them over in what is known as a road agent's spin, so that the barrels were facing Wild Bill. Now there was no gunfight, but the point was made to Marshal Hickok. This may or may not have happened, but we know from his writing that the maneuver did exist, which tells us that gun tricks were practiced to some degree in the Old West. Prior to it being popularized in movies, fancy gun handling could be experienced at Wild West shows. Typically mixed in with trick shooting, it gave folks the idea that all shootists in the 19th century were that showy with their firearms. The rifleman and the Duke would spin their lever-action rifles, cocking them in one fluid and flashy motion. Now, they did have help from customized firearms, and to date there's no example of this technique used in the Old West, but let's face it, the cool factor is pretty high on that one. Now I should mention that any of these gun tricks shown are dangerous. If you're going to try your hand at them, please don't practice with live ammo in your firearm. Over the years, too many folks have blown off toes or kneecaps. Youch. So yeah, you bring the barrel, get your get your arm out of the way, get your fingers out of the way. Just, you know, they need some momentum. Here, watch, watch this. See that? That's back spin, forward spin, forward spin. All right, forward spin. Forward spin. All right. And try not to cock the gun when you're spinning it. You guys doing a little gun spinning, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to teach Dan a forward spin. Oh, good. Uh, is that your gun, Dan? Well, who else gun would it be, you fool? Uh, Jerry? Okay, can I talk you over here? Sure, keep working. <sighs> Dan doesn't typically unload his gun. Did you check to see if it was unloaded? No. subscribe and we'll see you on down the trail. I'll go get a band-aid or two. Make them big. Oh.